Plastic waste materials like jerry cans, bottle tops and container lids can be used as a raw material for making diesel using a continuous pyrolysis process. People are drinking water, mineral water bottles, people are cooking, uh, cooking oil, uh, plastics, basins, all that plastics is continuously being generated. So you need a process that continuously also processes them. Plastic is cut into small pieces and put in a metallic container. Using firewood, the plastic is exposed to heat from a rocket stove. A metal plate is fitted onto the stove to protect the plastic container from direct heat. The temperature meter wires are fitted on the stove to help monitor the required temperatures. If you put in one kilogram of uh, plastic, you get one kilogram of biodiesel. Uh, of diesel. After heating the desired temperature, the plastic melts and evaporates through a pipe, which is suspended in a bucket of water. The diesel then collects slowly above the water through a condensation process where vapor turns into liquid. To test the product, a stick is dipped into the floating diesel before it is torched. What is for sure, the prices will drop significantly because you imagine you are using waste to generate a valuable product. The diesel which is collecting on top here cannot be straight away collected and used in any engine or any motor engine because it still has the water content which is perilous uh, to uh, such engines. So it will be subjected to another process of using densities and a filter which will separate the diesel from water and that will be safe to be used in any car. Think about a farmer Pumping, uh, pumping somewhere on the farm to be able to supply water. Think of a farmer driving a tractor by diesel from plastic. Think of a, a processor running a boiler from this diesel. The samples that we took home, we found that the fuel we produced here at Makareri last time was of the same quality as the fuel we were able to produce in our laboratory at home. It was a very uh, clean and quality diesel fuel that is uh, suitable for any diesel engine. Professor Nobo Banda says this system can help create jobs and take on the youth grappling with unemployment. You create a whole network of logistics, people to collect, people to process the plastics, then people to sell the diesel. It's a noble innovation, but Professor Banada says this pyrolysis technology could present challenges to the environment. What is going to be worked on is now to that the plastics, uh, the diesel you get, is also used to fire the reactor. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.